this time of year, so we'll see how they are. Cricket Aldridge is a local beekeeper who is passionate about her work. You just know you're doing something really good, and managing bees is just awesome. <laughs> She manages this beehive in Cave Creek, helping to keep the colony alive in the brutal heat. And they haven't quite built out on this side. Cricket says the historic heat wave has been deadly for honeybees. Some hives like this one completely melting and falling apart. So it collapses and oftentimes the queen can be crushed. And if that happens, then there's no other bee there that can replace her. There's no other bees that can lay eggs. So the colony would just die. And the honeybee's food source of nectar and pollen is being impacted too. The plants that normally are blooming right now are struggling. It's an issue that impacts all of us. Honeybees are a vital part of the ecosystem, working as pollinators. If you think about it, the insects will uh, pollinate the flowers, which produce the seed to produce more plants. So if there is no pollination, there's no seeds, there's no plant happening after that. And then, you know, our food sources. So it's just so connected. So I decided to get in a bee suit myself to check out some of these bees. They've actually been really friendly today. You can hear them buzzing around in there. I'm told there are probably about 40,000 bees in this hive. And Cricket tells me there are a lot of ways that people can help out these honeybees during the extreme heat. You can actually put a bucket of water near your home. That way they're able to hydrate in these high temperatures. Put wine corks to float in it, or this one has wood, something the bees can land on and not drown. Cricket says if you come across a hive or a lot of bees near your home, call a beekeeper instead of an exterminator. Honeybees provide so much pollination, which of course is our food sources, but also our oxygen from the plants. <laughs> so having bees survive is vital really to our existence. In Cave Creek, Emma Lockhart for Arizona's Family. That is such an important story. The bees are